Hello and welcome to the final stage of Fast and Ferrari racing for the Ferrari 499P. There's the upgrades I needed to finish this day. The rewards are at the bottom. Uh, you can do the math on how much it cost after the rewards if you want to. Uh, you definitely don't just apply those upgrades and think you can do this. You can't. Okay, so there's some tricks involved to even do it that cheap. Should you skip? No. Minimum 240 gold, you'd have to skip two stages. I did test it this time. No, it's not better to skip. So that's gonna cost you more. Now some people will say, oh well I just I'll just wait and I'll buy this car with M dollars. Okay, it is a fun event, and you know I get that. It's just you're gonna want this car to be competitive, probably. Well, maybe you don't, and that's fine. Uh, if you don't want this car for time trials, you know what, then again, I'm probably not gonna be yeah, you know what, the time trial competitions, I'm probably not going to buy a bunch of additional gold upgrades for that. Uh, still, that's what I did. I really like these events. This is kind of what I live for in this game, is these type of events. So it's incredibly rare you're going to see me skip an entire event and just buy a car. So this is definitely uh, a more difficult day. Uh, definitely strategy needed. Drive this thing pretty hard. Um, breaking points are interesting almost as deep as the mp4x not quite almost and again it depends on the upgrades like at this point i don't have 13 upgrades i've only got six so it's later on in this video that i've got 13 upgrades there's one particular race where you must you must get that many upgrades uh i don't know it might have been possible with one less upgrade but definitely no less gold uh, there's no way to do it you just i was always missing like 0.15 or 0.2 seconds of time in an upcoming race but then there's another race where there's a speed requirement and you're not going to hit it without spending that much gold and to skip is 240 gold two stages 120 gold each so don't isn't it's i don't think it's worth it, it doesn't make any sense if you're going to start skipping stages and throwing away gold like that skip the whole event or wait till the event expires and buy the car for m dollars you'll still have the m dollar upgrades that you've got on it so i guess that's an alternative is you could just wait until the event ends and then maybe it's a little while after that um, but the car will be available for purchase if you just decide well i'm just going to stop here and not spend any gold i get that i understand that if you're low on gold um, again whatever upgrades you buy on the car will stay with the car and they'll be waiting until you buy the car but anyway i would rather have the car with a little more upgrades on it so at least i'm a little more competitive in a time trial so at this point, I'm a little bit worried. Like, where's this 10th place car? Like, I think I just saw a flash of him. So I was worried. Uh, this is my first time doing this race, and I did think about restarting because I thought maybe I made a mistake or maybe I should do some cutting. I couldn't remember if off-track was allowed or not, but I decided, you know what? The back section of this track, bots are horrible at. That's where we can make a lot of gains on the bots. And uh, like even these two corners, the bots usually take them pretty bad. Oof, that was pretty wide. There he is. Now I'm not worried. Because I know, worst case scenario, I blast through the last chicane. Oh, it's Magnus of all people. In 10th place. Huh, that's surprising. I really haven't been roughing Magnus up. I've been kind of treating him with more respect, which is uh, weird for me, isn't it, guys? I usually don't do that, but oh well, maybe I'm turning over a new leaf. Like I said, I've been focusing a lot more on just racing. Like, let's just buckle down and race. Don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like having fun horsing around. But I've been trying to make these events, you know, because sometimes people would say, well, why are you smashing cars? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And I thought, yeah, you know what? It's actually a good point. So I'm trying to keep it a little more to real racing. There we go. No trouble. I didn't even touch him. And just let him catch up a little bit here. Don't want to finish with a big lead. Oh, in 10th place, I didn't need to do that. Oh well, I didn't waste too much time. All right, here you go. This is where you need these. You need 13 upgrades, and uh, I'll show you them at the end of this race. There's no way around it. Hitting speed is not hard. It's time that's the problem. And it doesn't matter how many upgrades you buy or don't buy. The speed stays the same, and the time stays the same. And there's just nothing you can do about it. And you just watch. Watch how close I am on time. There's not much you can do to shape to save more time than I did. Like, um, just look at this. Like, less than a hundredth of a second. So that's kind of sketch. Oh, I didn't show the upgrades there. I'll, I'll show them. I'll show them coming up here. Uh, no, I showed them at the very beginning, guys. That's the upgrades I had. 
So one three three one three one one reading from left to right. So drive terrain, body, and exhaust. I took the three, everything else is at one. Now this, this, I tried this. I did do a test. I tried skipping that race with gold. I had no trouble doing this one with six upgrades, actually. Um, this particular race was not hard. Like, look, I'm already hitting average speed. So this race, I did not find difficult with only six upgrades, but it's the one after this that you that would be impossible with six upgrades and not I, there was no way to do it where it made sense to skip the, the prior race and then try to do the next like the next one i think i also needed those gold yep i needed that many upgrades I mean, maybe kind of skipped the 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 very last um m dollar upgrade but what's the point of that like um tires and wheels the nice thing about tires and wheels is you get grip and acceleration that's an interesting combination it's the only it's the only upgrade that combines a speed related upgrade and a grip related upgrade Everything else is going to be like acceleration and top speed, brakes and grip. So that's what you get for the most part. That's how the combinations work. So that one's really interesting. All right, I'm, I'm sticking more to the far left because I want to build my average speed. And like, look at this. So 361, 363. What am I topping out at? 367. I might have just kissed 368. There's Magnus, I'll leave him alone. Ah, he didn't want to give me a push. Come on, man. I don't need a push. I think the requirement's eighth place for this race. I think I'm correct in saying that. So I'm gonna really just push this and get up there. Because, you know, right now it looks like there's no cars around. Oh, I think I'll still, yeah, there they are, right? Yeah, there they are. Nice, I'm taking this nice. Don't clip him, get a nice push. Interesting how they're mixing in non-regular bots. Huh. I don't mind that. It's okay. It's interesting. Um, maybe they're bots that we'll see in the series as well. Peters. Oh, I didn't quite take that corner properly. No problem. Hook up with Peters here and get a nice, nice slipstreaming into the sunset. Or is it the sunrise? I don't know. It's one or the other. Beautiful sky. Ooh, that's an interesting view to race. I'm, uh, I'm not very comfortable with that, so I thought I'd just get out of this as I'm heading to the corner. I just want to have a nice, clean run. Average speed still stay, staying nice and high. Again, like I said, I was able to keep average speed with six upgrades, let alone 13. So this race is not the problem, but um, the next one, you'll see. Uh, it basically, it's like you saw what I did at Mount Panorama. I'm gonna repeat that, where I'm going to make a car push me to hit the speed requirement. And uh, it'll be a little bit different than Mount Panorama because with this many upgrades, the bots are a little bit slower. Well, I'm faster. And so they're not gonna push as aggressively. So I'm going to get a really good head of speed, get a good bunch of speed going past the car, and don't nick him, and then uh, get him to push me. You'll see what I mean. And there's Mr. Smith. I'm not gonna bother, as you can see, I'm not gonna let ninth catch up. I realize that there's no need to do that. So here you go, 373.3, 374 is my top speed. Obviously you can't hit that. Yes, this took me a few tries to figure out the strategy. Uh, part of it is I'm going to spend some of my off track. Three seconds of off track is allowed. Um, I might as well spend some of that. So I'm gonna blast through the last chicane because I want to get to a certain bot. I want to get to a faster bot. These back bots never push very good. You need someone who can really do a good job pushing. Uh, like if you watch much NASCAR, the neat thing about NASCAR is you learn a lot about slipstreaming and how, because they're so regulated. Um, they do a lot of slipstreaming, very aggressive drafting. They call it, it's drafting in NASCAR. Slipstreaming's more, I think, more European, you hear that, I believe, uh, in your European sport. Well, I shouldn't say that, Formula One, you hear it. Uh, anyhow, uh, if you're watching NASCAR, they're going to say drafting. So you can see I'm setting this up. I want him to be ahead of me. I want to have a nice head of steam when I pass him, but not too much. But I can't afford to slow down. So there we go. Now I'm going to stay away. I don't want him to get out of the gas because this is perfect. It's a 963. This is perfect. So watch. So this car, you can see I was hitting, the maximum I was hitting was about 368. I've got to go for like six kilometers an hour higher. So there you go. 
I hit it with like, room to spare. Now I think I've got to finish in third place, do I not? Yeah, so I'm gonna keep going because if I can get up to, if I can get the third place bot to push me, he's gonna be even better. Unless, depends on the car. I don't have a choice. I can't, I can't afford to sit back and wait for the Porsche. Because then my, uh, oh, maybe I could, because there's, nah, it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. I'm gonna go, 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 baby. If I wait for that Porsche, it's gonna make it harder for me to get up to the position I need to be in. So I'm not gonna waste time. I mean, I've got a lot of time yet. I mean, I've got like, what, like t maybe nine kilometers, eight kilometers before I have to really be concerned. So you can see again, I'm not trying to touch him. That's a Ferrari. I want him to give me a nice push. Oh boy, he's fast. Uh, I'm not gonna push this too much. Oh, almost giving myself a pit maneuver. I'm trying to catch some side draft. Oh, ah, that's okay. I, I don't wanna mess with him too much. I don't wanna get the pit maneuver done to me, but I do need to work my way. Oh, there we go, there's Murphy. Hey, Murph. That's gonna help me, because I'd like to be hooked up with Murphy kind of at the, ooh, uh, close to the wall. I'd like to be hooked up with Murphy at the beginning of the lap. That way I can kind of control things and just set up when I want to, uh, I want to be, I want him to be in front of me as we're getting onto the Mulsanne straight, but then I need him to be close enough that I can overtake him. You know, you saw what I did. So I don't know what Murphy's driving. So this is gonna get, you know, that could affect things. If it's a slower car, shouldn't be, because he's way up here. Like the, uh, the podium position should be your better cars. But we had that one race where like whatever it was, I think the sixth place bot was faster than the front five, which was, just blew my mind um, at Daytona Road Course where I had to set the fastest lap. A back mark, a back guy hit the fastest lap, blew my mind. I just realized I made a mistake. I, I, I passed Murphy, I need Murphy to pass me back. Come on, Murphy, get going. Frustrating me, man. Okay. So I've got lots, like 1.6 seconds of off-track. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to hang out with Murphy here. I'm going to let him go for a little bit here. And um, he should get onto the Le Mulsanne straight pretty quick. See, if I don't time this right, I'll have to get off the throttle more than I want to. Oh, nuts. I'm a bit far back. Okay, well, let's see if I can do it this way. I mean, you can still get pretty fast... Oh, I'm getting nice and close. This might work. I've just got to make sure I pass them at a certain point. Oh, this is going to get dicey. And there we go. Nicely. And take Murphy for the overtake. All right. Ah, uh, cool. So I was able to really get, get up to my maximum speed that way too. Perfect. So either way it works. Um, you could do the slipstream or you could pass and get a push. Both work. Okay. So let's just zip through the rest of this. It was a lot of nothing, and this is a longer video, so I'm trying to find places I could maybe shorten it a little bit. So there you go. You can see those upgrades again. Okay, this is interesting. Um, when while managing your tires. Now, this would certainly be possible. Well, might not be. Might be really difficult with lower upgrades. So what you want to do at the start here, I wasn't sure. Sometimes they have this low percentage, and it doesn't mean much. No, look at that. This is a slippery car. So just take it easy. Don't worry too much about it. Um, you actually build up heat quicker in those tires if you drift a little bit, but actually wasn't actually, no, it was worse that time. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that. Okay. Don't skid. Usually skidding builds up the heat bat faster, but not this time. So just take, take it easy. Oops. Don't want to go off track. That'll make it worse. You just need to take it really easy till you get good 65 70 percent of a per, of a percentage in your tires there before you can really start to push this thing just really baby it here because you don't want to drag this out you don't want to be like these back markers are going to be slow but so am i i'm um, getting onto the mulsanne straight you definitely want to be tiptoeing a little bit you do not want to blow the entrance to the mulsanne straight and these are not this is not good so you can see i'm braking taking it easy and then I'll take the inside line. Now, by the time I'm at the end of this, I should be probably 50, 55% maybe, even at the first chicane. So I might actually be able to pass some of these back markers in the first chicane. 
For some reason, the first chicane, we're allowed to really cut it, really cut the corners. Uh, I mean, people complain about this, but you better utilize this. Oops, overdriving it a little bit. Very, 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 very close to the wall. Didn't catch anybody, but I will at the next chicane, getting to 60%. I was pretty close on my guess there. So what, are we going to be 70% by this second chicane? Maybe not quite 70. Pretty close, though. Pretty close. That means I can start to push it. Uh, I drove it into deep nuts. Uh, again, interesting names. Not names I'm used to seeing in this game. Okay, by the time I get to the next corner, once you get around like 80%, you can almost start driving it normally. You're not going to notice too much of a difference. You just have to baby it like very, very, very little at this point. So I'm going to start to drive this thing a little more aggressively. See if I can get around both these guys on this section. That'd be great. Don't really want to hit you. I'd like for you to give me a push. I got close to his nose and he got out of the gas. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I really wish he didn't do that, honestly. Jarvis, okay. So now, obviously, at the beginning of the next lap, I can really go for it. So basically, it's going to be like a two-lap rolling start race where I'm going to have, what, I might start it in 10th position. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get here. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to start in 10th position. And you'll just see that it's not bad as long as you've been paying attention uh, to braking points. Like I said, I'm driving it almost as deep as the MP4X. Um, definitely not like LMP1 cars. Those I'm braking some, like, quite a lot earlier. Like, a lot earlier, actually. So you're able to drive this. I mean, they're a lot faster, too. I mean, those cars, you're getting into the 400 kilometer an hour. Ah, we're not too shy of that in this car, though. Huh. That's a pretty good car. Now that I'm thinking about it, and this is low upgrades. That's a pretty good car. I mean, ooh, I off track there. Uh, these aren't really low upgrades. I mean, 13 to 28. Well, that's still less than half upgrades. That's a pretty good car, actually. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, breaking that deep with those few up, with that many upgrades, oof. Off track's probably allowed. I'm, I'm not going to be utilizing it, though. We'll just see. Unless this gets brutal, I'm not going to be using off track. So now you're going to, there's no reason to break getting onto the Mulsanne straight. No way at all. Just drive it hard. So MP4X braking points, there's distance markers on the left hand side, there's three of, well I think there's four. MP4X I'm braking right at the third, and this car I'm going about maybe one and a half to two car lengths before that. So watching your left, there's going to be, uh, there's one, two, and then there's three, I'm already on the brakes. Nicely get around him, there's Smith, a little bit of slipstream, dive in front, ooh that was close wasn't it? I dove in front of him to catch a little bit of a push from the air. And then pretty much the same thing here. Maybe one, two car lengths before the third distance marker. There's a, uh, where are they? Hard to see right now. Anyway, there we go. It's about the 100 mark again. Murphy, oh buddy Murph. Hey Murph, who's in front of you Murph? Uh, Roth. So now again, we're, we're never seeing the two, two bots at the bottom at the same time where it gives me the two distances. That was interesting in that one race where the uh, first place bot was right behind me. It was so strange. Anyhow, I, I thought it might have been something new. Now I'm realizing it's nothing new. It was just an anomaly. That's a fun word, anomaly. Okay, so I'm already in fifth place. This might be easy, but then we might have, I'm guessing Magnus is in the lead. He might be really far gone. Like, there's fifth and four, fourth and third right there. Oop. And I saw second. Well, oop, overdrove that a little bit. Let's get a nice, come on. Give me a push mark. Nice. Yeah, there we go. And there's Peters. I wonder if, is Peters in a Ferrari? Maybe. Mm, yeah, Peters is in a Ferrari. So I'm curious who's in the lead. It's gotta be Magnus, doesn't it? I wish it had the name. I mean, I guess I wouldn't see the name. Okay. So that's Cruz. It's gotta be Magnus. Like, watch how much they slow down for this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Another Ferrari. 
because you can do that. Okay, I don't see anybody. Which is nerve-wracking. I wish they'd be the distance counter above me now. It only kicks in when you're within like, like 150, right? Yeah. Unless you're substantially in the lead, then it just stays there. But I, I, I wish it would, I mean, where's it gonna be? Uh, has me nervous. Where'd you go? Well, I know that I catch, I, I really do well at the first chicane. Um, that's where I generally make up a lot of time on both bots and online multiplayer as well. Uh, that's often where I, I, I gain on people. A lot of people don't maximize this. You can basically take it as close to the wall as you're willing to get and you're safe without being at off track here. So, whoa, that was fast. Oh, there's Magnus. Yeah, you don't take that first chicane much better than I just did. That's pretty incredible. Okay, well, there's Magnus. Um, I'm going to nicely catch him at the second chicane. But I'm going to be careful. I don't like to do a race this long and make a silly mistake. Didn't have to do it again. So I'm just going to be careful here. He's in a Porsche. Well, that's funny. I, I thought for sure he'd be in a Ferrari. So I'm just seeing how, he's pretty fast. You were in the gas at about the same time. Man, he's definitely driving away from me a little bit. But then, I mean, he doesn't take this well. I mean, I take it, I was a little bit into the gravel. I figured let's get in front of him, make him push me for a bit in that 963 LMDH. Ooh, aggressive. Nice. Wow, he has given me a push and a half. I'm a little bit worried here. I'm not going to pull over and let him pass, but I'm going to have to be very careful in the braking zone. Okay, he got out early. I also, I took it a little. No, I didn't take that too. Uh, maybe. And now I'm going to I'm going to say, oh, I went off track a little bit there. Nuts. I'm going to drive off. I'm done with Magnus. Okay, so... Maybe you could skip tires and wheels and do this. I don't think so, though. That speed snap, I just don't think so. And to the tires and wheels was an M dollar upgrade. I think this is the minimum. I have not looked to see what anyone else did, nor am I going to do that before I produce these videos. It takes a lot of work. I've been working on this for six and a half hours since I started. Uh, that's a lot of time, guys. It takes a lot of time do the event and then of course I've got to edit everything down and do all this stuff but I love doing it so I hope you enjoy this please like and subscribe the other videos are going to be available in a playlist link uh, again I'll show you the upgrades that I've got there you go and the uh, finale screen here and beautiful shot of the car coming up so yes like I said please like and subscribe drop me a comment and uh, thank you so much for joining me for this series bye bye now